I'm Peter Sidesod, attorney with the Law Office of Brian Fagan. I love my grandparents. They're an important part of my life. Grandparents can also be a huge asset for many families. Their wisdom, love, and support can be unfailing and instrumental when raising a child. However, some of us are not as fortunate. Some grandparents are unable to spend time with their grandchildren due to the parents forbidding it for invalid reasons or no reason at all. So the question still remains, do I have rights as a grandparent and if so, what are they? Like almost every other state in the country, Texas has laws within our family code on conservatorships and grandparents' visitation rights. Like a parent, a grandparent can file a suit affecting the parent-child relationship where you would request custody of your grandchildren if you believe it is in the best interest of your grandchild. A judge will decide what living arrangements will serve the child best from an emotional, physical, and educational perspective. The reality of visitation rights as a grandparent in Texas is that the state does not provide you with an explicit right to visit your grandchild. To request visitation rights for your grandchild, you must be the parent of the party who has primary custody of your grandchild or be the parent of the party who is in jail or deceased. Currently, you cannot request visitation rights if both your child and your grandchild's other parent have had their parental rights terminated. This means if your grandchild has been adopted or is in CPS custody, you cannot file a lawsuit for visitation rights. Bear in mind, if no circumstance that was just mentioned is relevant to your family, then your grandchild's parents have the ability to restrict your visitation completely. This can be heartbreaking, especially for a grandparent like you who is well-meaning and wants to spend time with your grandchild. The ability for a grandparent to nurture and aid in the development of a young child early on in their life allows for bonds to be created that are long-lasting. Ideally, the strength of these bonds are never tested. Because a family can always work through their problems to see that the children and grandparents have loving and continual relationships that strengthen and evolve. As families grow and change, so do the nature of those relationships. However, one thing that does not change is the amount of love the family members have for one another. I hope this video has helped you. As always, we are here for you. If you have any questions about this video or if we can help you with any family law matters, please call our office today at 281-810-9760. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and turn on post notifications for our YouTube channel. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook for more updates.